Did you know that Tinkercad now has a way that you can simulate a 3D print such as a marble run? Let's talk about it on today's Film of Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Tinkercad recently introduced Tinkercad Sim Lab, where you can simulate movements such as dominoes falling or marbles rolling, like they show in this example where a marble just rolls down a ramp. So I wanted to try this out with an actual 3D print. I went into Tinkercad, I clicked on import, and I'm going to bring in this, the Gentle Marble Run for 8mm Ball from Thingiverse by Anna Bonke. And once I brought that in by clicking Choose File, I selected the STL that I downloaded, and after 30 to 45 seconds, this thing finally came in and it looked really good. So now what I needed to do was actually put a marble on this thing within Tinkercad. So what I did is move the plane right up here to the top of the ramp. And then I brought a ball in and I'm going to resize this to become a marble. So it's at 20 by 20. I'm holding the shift key and bringing a corner in so everything moves equally. And I got it to the 8 millimeter ball that was suggested. But once I got it in place, it still seemed a little bit large. So I'm going to downsize it to 6 millimeters just to be safe. So I downsized it to 6 millimeters. Now I need to put the plane back in the base. And now I've got my marble run with a marble. So I'm going to click on the SimLab symbol up here in the corner. Now there's two pieces here, the marble and the marble run. So I clicked on the marble run and I had to make that static and also tell it what type of material. So I clicked on material and said it's plastic. Now i got to click on the marble. The marble, I clicked on it for material and I made it steel. So now it takes on the properties of steel. Now by mistake, I clicked on make static there. So when I clicked on the run button in the lower corner, the marble didn't move because it's static. So I paused that, I went back, clicked on the marble, and then clicked on make it dynamic. And then once I did that, I went back to hit play and watch this. The marble is rolling around this 3D print that I downloaded off of Thingiverse. And I created the marble. Now it's not super fast, which made me wonder about this maze in general. It looks pretty flat, so the marble is rolling slow. Now, as I moved it around for view, it also slows down the simulation, so the marble slows down for that. But I still wondered how good this was, so I want to actually print it and see how well it runs. But this is really awesome that you can actually simulate a 3D print marble run right here in Tinkercad. This is incredible. I brought the file into Cura and I sliced it a couple different ways. The first one didn't go so well. The first one I printed at a 50% size, but I did it at the wrong nozzle setting so the marble wouldn't roll at all. I printed it again with a proper nozzle, but it didn't look any better, so I decided to just print this thing in full size. And while that's printing, let's talk about PCBWay.com. You can get 10 boards for 5 bucks. That's a low-cost circuit board, and you can get assembly services. In addition to that, they offer CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. So check out PCBWay.com. I printed it in full size and I clearly need to clean this thing up. The channel is kind of rough in spots. I used a 0.2 layer height but my extra fast profile, probably a mistake. So let's try it with the marble and see if the simulation is right. So here it is, a 6 millimeter marble, looks pretty good. And then it hit its first snag, boom, right there. So I gave it a little push but this area is really flat. So I was able to push it all the way through but look at, some of that's the roughness, some of that's the height. And it stopped here at the back, and then it starts to work here. So I think if I polish this up, I might make it run better. That's just my fault for trying to cut corners and print it a little too fast. But overall, the simulation and the print mostly match. I find this Tinkercad Sim Lab really interesting. I mean, making a marble run is really cool, but you can do dominoes falling. You can pretty much do anything your imagination can come up with. So why don't you try it out and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon's one way. If nothing else, click on that Film of Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time, right here at Film of Friday.